Hello, hello people. Um, welcome back to Fanchat with me. Fanchat. After work. After play. Where you come from? Sip up now. Chat, 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 chat. Talk up to them. Hey yo, sip and chat with me. 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 Hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Sip and Chat. I know it's been a while. We have some lovely episode lined up for you guys, different things, different. We're just going different. We have a few guests coming on today. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Let's see who we have. Two special guests. Cool. Hi. There we go. Can you hear us? Sip, 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 Well, okay. welcome back to another episode, the second series of Sip and Chat. Today we have two special artists which they do their music, their style, their fashion, which I love so much, especially that song, Blame It On Me. Oh my God, it had me bucking continuously. <laughs> I'm like cooking and singing and I'm like, oh my God, this song is addicted. So I will, you're so welcome. So we have Modern Day X and OKB known as Ali Known The Best. So, you guys, go ahead and you know about yourself and about what you guys are doing. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm Modern Day. Um, I'm okay, B, okay for Ollie Knows Best. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we're just uh, two creatives who are just creating. <laughs> yeah. For the most part, you know, we make music together. Uh, you know, we, we, we uh, do fashion, um, you know, any of the videos that we release, the clothes that we're wearing, we, we make those pieces and we just want to like, uh, I don't know, just express ourselves creatively and, and then hopefully people can connect with like music. And, it's of, and course, yeah. of course. And I see you guys have a few fashions out also, you know, your own label by um, design, I should say, and which I love. Um, I see it sold out, so I couldn't purchase anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, really, guys? Nothing for me. <laughs> but that is a good thing, you know? So, sold out is awesome. So tell me about your fashion. What's, what's going on with that? Our biggest yeah. thing is just, like, not fitting in. Like, that's the biggest thing. So when it comes to clothes, even if we buy something regular, we'll change it. We'll cut it up. We'll add rhinestones to it. You know, we'll add color to it. The biggest thing that we want to do is be ourselves. Um, and that just means not being anybody else, no matter what that means. In fashion, even our houses are different. We interior mm-hmm. decorate our houses as well to make sure, you know, that right, we get to stay. Right. And that's, that's good. I like that. I like different things. Because definitely, you could definitely change your, you know, anything to anything. But it's not everybody have that great creativity, which you guys are also doing great on. Um, tell me about why, how you guys come up with Blame It On Me. Who wrote that song? Why that song? Blamed on me. So why? <laughs> um, so blame it on me was actually inspired by uh, real life events. And, uh, you know, and it was just one day we were, I, I don't know what was happening. Um, we, I, I don't know, it was something stressful. And we were like, we're just gonna make some music. And we played some instrumentals and we made like three songs that day. And then one of them was blame it on me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just remembered that it, we, we didn't record it that day. We just remembered that it felt real good and part of the voice memo of it. Yeah. And right. then, uh, like, a couple weeks later, we just ran across the voice memo and we were like, oh, this is tight. And we recorded it. And, um, yeah, but it, it actually came from real life events. 
and <laughs> all the way up into the text message thread, like, like blame it on me. Blame it on me. It was yeah. like it was serious. <laughs> I kind of figured something like that because you know it felt real at home, and um, it really did. So, and it's wow. a lovely song. I love it. You guys did do great on the song perfectly you know awesome but do you have any upcoming gigs anything planned um soon or for the future yes ma'am uh we actually have a whole bunch coming up coming up right away though we've got modern day's birthday here so we're going to be dropping our next single happy birthday thank you so much we're dropping our our next single on the 21st yes Uh, ma'am it's called late night it's going to be insane uh we can't wait to drop it we have a lot of like excitement around it so you know we're dropping yes. the website and some more clothes so yes it's gonna be exciting i am i am excited for you guys too i can't wait to hear it i am wondering if it's something like blame it on me or if it's different you know i'm just you know, you know, <laughs> like, the thing about us is our music is so versatile so we've got blame it on me we've got late night we've got love and lorraine which is more like a rockish type We've got a project called Nostalgia, which is going to be more of like your 90s R&B type. You just really never know what to expect. Yeah, I would, I would literally, whatever <laughs> whatever we release, enjoy that and then do not expect right. anything like that coming right afterwards. Right. <laughs> Okay. So you guys, you guys are full of surprises. Definitely, yeah. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Change is good. You don't have to stick with one thing. Uh, you know, different people out there for different music, different things that they like. So definitely, um, you don't have to stick with one crowd. I like that. Um, where do you guys see yourself in five years from now? Um, uh, I'm crazy touring, yeah. touring everywhere. Yeah. Uh, Probably just now touring. Touring. In five years. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot, you know, um, in, in so many different areas, like music wise. We plan to be, you know, uh, just touring and like really, really like impacting the uh, the, the music industry with like our sound and like, our vibe and stuff. So we we see our brand being really, really big in five years, yeah. and then also like on top of that, like we want to be doing a lot of like. Like stuff for the community as yeah. well, you like know? politician work, and like she's a politician. <laughs> like that, yeah. I was going to ask you that question. Um, and when you say politician work, I really like that because I was actually going to ask you, um, you know, if if there's anything that you would change um, about the industry, what would would it what would you change? Either uh, about the music uh, industry, myself, the fashion industry. For myself, as far as the music industry. The biggest thing that I would change is the industry standard, because that basically makes it so that everybody's put in a box. And if you're not in that box, you're not considered industry standard. And if you're not considered yeah. industry standard, you're not considered a professional. And that's unfair for an artist. You know what I Definitely. mean? Definitely. So change it to make it so that everybody, you know, thankfully, we work really hard on our music and we do everything in-house. So we're industry standard, but we also want to make sure while being industry standard, we, we make a different box and a different lane for people who don't want to be that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like, like that. And then that's one thing that pulls me to you guys when I you know listen to the music and see your fashion and realize, hey, they're not like everyone or everybody. They're totally different. And that's something that I like. I like to stand out. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be everybody. So I yeah. know a lot of people are going to listen to you guys' music, um, purchase you guys, but you already sold out. So, you know, with the clothes and the fashion. So um, I think you guys are doing awesome. I, um, I know you guys reached very far with, you know, your goals and whatever you're trying to pursue. Let me ask you, you guys produce your own music? Yeah. So yeah. from the production to the recording to the... Uh, mixing, mastering, like we do work with producers, but we take the music and we create around it, you know. Yeah. So like we have we produce right pretty much everything. Nothing is standard. If we find something standard, we're changing it. So um, <laughs> yes, we do so, produce something. Okay. So okay. So okay B, let me ask you here. So you are the fashion designer. So you're the one that changes up the styles and everything, mostly. Fashion well, designers, we're both- I'm more of the stylist, though. So he's going to design stylist. 
me. I just have a certain way that I want him to look in them. Yeah, you know? I, I literally just, you know, I'll be like, what should I wear? I'll be like, yo, you should probably yeah. do something, you know. But she, she, she's, oh, the, yeah. she's the one with the style. This boy's got style. That. He's wearing right now. <laughs> Well, I know, I know the audience will love to know this because by looking at you guys, this is one question and I know they're asking like, are you guys related? How you guys meet each other? How you guys came about? Um, so that one, we, we kind of want to, we've done well, well with keeping that. Nobody knows what we are, if we're related, if we're not related, how we okay. do this. Um, and it's been, it's been working like that. I, I didn't know we looked like brother and sister though. I'll tell you how we met. I'll tell you how we met. So um, we met in 2016. Um, I had just moved to Minnesota uh, from my hometown. And uh, I, was, I was doing music out there. And she was working in the office at this condo that, I, that my manager uh, lived at. So I would see her every day. And, you know, we would just be talking and stuff. And she would just, we right. would just be talking about music. Like, yeah, it was all the time. Like, yeah. So we really, we really started off like at a, you know, develop a friendship uh, about music. And then it connect. Yeah, and then, you know, all of a sudden, I didn't even know she was an artist or she did music. I just told her she knew a lot about music. And then uh, like last year, um, I reached out to her and turns out she was like, yeah, I'm an artist now too. And I really didn't. <laughs> <try>. <laughs> I was like, what for real? And she sent me over a song, yeah. like crazy. She was like rapping on some EDM, like I was like confidence. I'm like, she that's crazy. So right, okay, B, no okay, B, right? I'm like, okay, okay, B, man, okay, B, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, so um, like we can come out with a hit like that. Like it takes us like five minutes to come up with the concept, uh, concept, mm -hmm. maybe like a night to you know get everything laid down. And blame it on me, I think took us less than a day. Right. Guys, I think so, you guys, yeah, we do. I like for each other working together, you know, um, you guys bring out each other vibes, I see the glow with you guys, you guys, just, you just act like, you know, everything seems perfectly fine, and that's good, I like that, I like the flow, <laughs> I like everything. So much more than perfect. I want to say, we are so blessed. when you were talking about, um, like, uh, the industry, I want to say, like, the reason we're able to, like, be like this is because we, we really do, uh, everything ourselves like we do control everything ourselves like we don't have to uh i don't have to we don't have to make a certain type of music to like appease to somebody or you right. know like telling us what we got to do and it allows a freedom that you're like yo we do what we want to do and people people love it and that's yeah. like the best thing yeah. so if i could change that's anything part of it, i would want like uh other artists to kind of be like that you know i'm saying and i feel like i don't know to be yourself yeah you know, no gatekeepers. It's 2022. You got to be your own yes. Like who helped you, um, you know, inspire you guys to have reached this journey? Um, or this position, you know, your goals that you're trying to achieve? Who inspired you? Um, oddly enough, and, and the great thing about us is we inspire each other. Um, we also already have like the goal and the dream before we even met each other. So this is just what we see in our lives. And this is like where we want to be. Um, so going it's off of inspiration from anywhere else it's just based off being as big as we can be and like building a legacy and like right. you know the beach boys are still touring like that's that's where that's where we're at that's what i want to do that's we get our inspiration from god you know what I'm saying? we get our inspiration from god like that's the biggest inspiration um yeah. you know for us because at the end of the day we're creating something you know and the source that we're connected to you know is why we're able to create what we create. So as far as like, well, I feel inspired when I see other artists being creative and doing, a, you know, amazing right. uh, art, you know, but as far as what inspired us to do what we do, it's really like our belief in God and, and our purpose in what, and we go, what you like, what inspire you itself, your likeness, I understand. Um, I don't see anything holding you back. I don't know the future, but I definitely don't see um, I love you guys' music. I send your music out to a few of my friends, and they themselves was like, "Tell you who are these people?" And I'm like, "Don't worry, you'll see that." <laughs> <laughs> so you're so welcome. 
Um, we don't have much time. We're wrapping up right now. But again, I just want you guys to just throw out anything. If you want to get a shout out to anyone, anything that needs. I know you guys have a your single coming out on the 21st of July. Yes, Where can we hear it? Where should we listen um, to go to find this the, the music? Where? Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, wherever you'd like to listen to us. July 21st, Late Night will be out and coming to a city near you. Perfect. I love that. All right. So Modern X, Modern Day, sorry, and OKB, it was a pleasure having you guys on my show today and sip and chat with me. Um, I hope I have you guys back again. I know, again, like I said, you guys are doing awesome. I love you guys' um, design. I love you guys' music. Um, Ali, you were looking so fine on that car. <laughs> you were like, look at my girl. Thank you. Yeah, and Modern Nick, you were looking hot too, but I can't put you out there. My husband is sitting here, so listen. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, at the end of the day, you guys were looking awesome. I love your music. Um, I hope you guys reach, you know, all your goals that you want to reach um, and pursue everything that you guys are looking for. I wish you everything in life good. Um, again, when you guys have anything out, please send them out to me so I can at least put them out there. And I, I noticed that you guys are sold out, but I need my sweater. So another thank you. We got you. You're the first person yeah. that's going to get the next. Next year, man. Yes. Shout Thank out. You. I, I don't find the color black. I like colors. So chill, give me oh, a nice okay. color. Okay. Yeah, black or gray? We got colors. Gray. Gray is fine. Gray. Gray. We got you. Okay. Right. Perfect. Yeah. And I love you guys. You guys. Linux. Uh, this is that, oh, that's who? Linux. Linux. He's, he's another boy. boy. He's our little baby. I got you guys, dog. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to thank you guys again. Um, thanks, and um, you guys have a blessed night. Um, continue. I know you guys will be kind there. We've seen you, you know, on the TV screen soon, watching you guys, and good luck. You know, just hang in there. Um, don't give up. The pressure is there, but you guys are doing awesome, and I can see your you guys are doing great with your milestones. So continue. This is very well. I'm not gonna lie; like it's been very. We have so much going on right now, and it's like kind of stressful. You know, like today's kind of. I know. Stressful. But this is really, really good. Right? It, it's yeah. out there, cool. Like got, a yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. No, thank you. And you guys remember again to subscribe to Sip and Chat Show, and we had today. Um, I want to thank Ali and Modern Day X for coming on to contact with me. Subscribe, click on the link, like, and click on the bell as well. And thank you guys. You guys have a lovely night and see Woo! you soon. Bye. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Love you guys. Bye bye. Love you too. Have a great night. You too. Rolling and y'all ready? Yeah. We're just going to do a couple run throughs. All right, ready, three, two, one, and speed. Hey.